Welcome to this demonstration in which we show the effects of quantization. Um, we're going to use a MATLAB demonstration to do this and I'll use uh, an audio signal in which we will requantize the audio signal so that we can actually hear the effects that uh, quantization will introduce. Um, so just flicking over to MATLAB first of all and we'll read in an example signal using my wav read function. So I have to specify the file e1.wav. So this is a female speaking. A uh, fairly short example. Uh, of course it is just a sequence of numbers and I can tell you that those numbers were captured at a sampling rate of 16,000. So let's just listen to that um, signal. So variable IP sampling rate of 16,000 and here we go. She had your dark suit in greasy wash water all year. Okay so she wore a dark suit and greasy wash water all year. Okay, so let's plot that signal and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the, the signal um, of, of that, uh, or a plot of the discrete data that we've acquired um, when that female was recorded. And of course there are um, quantization levels associated with this speech. Um, when this speech was captured, it was captured using a bit depth of 16 which equates to about 65,000 quantization levels. So we would be able to easily see the quantization levels looking at this plot. Um, now the reason why six, um, a, 60, a bit depth of 16 was chosen is because if you use that bit depth there will be quantization error introduced but our auditory system won't be able to pick up the error. So it's the reason why they actually use this bit depth of 16 when they're talking about CD quality audio, that you can't actually hear the quantization error. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually requantize this signal using a function that I've put together. Um, so the function is called my quantization. And what I specify is the signal I want to requantize. Requantize. Uh, and let's specify a bit depth of 4. Okay, so there should be, um, with a bit depth of 4, we'd expect 16 quantization levels. So if I plot that now, so that's it requantized first, so that now the requantized data is stored in the variable output. If I say hold on, and now I plot my requantized data in red over the original plot so that we can actually see it. Okay, so we can see there's differences in the signal and I'm going to zoom in on a particular section. Now we won't see all the quantization levels in this section that I'm going to zoom in on. So I'm just going to zoom in here. There we go, that section there. And we can actually see the quantization levels and I'll just copy this over somewhere where I can edit it a little bit. Okay, so let's let's just look at the levels. You can actually see the quantization levels. That's I'll draw in a few of them. Let's just put a Doing a great job on that one. So there's our quantization level. You can see them there. There should be, well, you won't see the entire 16 because I'm not showing the full range of the input, but there should be about 16 levels altogether. But you can see there's clearly defined levels of the signal. So um, we've reduced the number of possible values that the um, that original signal can be. So you can see the actual levels that the signal is at. Okay. Now, that's, hopefully that's reasonably clear that you can see those new quantization levels, but let's hear what the effect of that is. So if I play back that output, um, now again I'm going to reiterate that the input does have some quantization error, except we can't actually hear it. Our auditory system isn't precise enough to actually hear the error that's introduced when we use 16-bit depth, uh, which is 65,000 different quantization levels. But if I play this back, 
which is that has been requantized to basically 16 levels. Our auditory system should be able to pick that up. So let's just play it back. She had your dark suit and greasy wash water all year. So I think in that example, you should be able to hear the noise that's been introduced. So just compare it to the original again. She had your dark suit and greasy wash water all year. Okay. Um, so you can actually hear the quantization that's been introduced. Uh, what I'll do now is just maybe requantize it at a different level. We'll, we'll requantize it using uh, six, six bits, which is 64 different levels of quantization. And we s see if we can still hear the error. I might call it OP, OP1 instead. Okay. So, sound. And we play the variable OP1 back now. She had your dark suit and greasy wash water all year. Okay, so there's OP1. Uh, maybe we'll compare it to OP. She had your dark suit and greasy wash water all year. You can actually hear the, um, the, the additional noise introduced by the uh, when we use a lower bit depth. So the lower the bit depth, the more error that we will have introduced. Um, and I suppose I could go to an extreme where I say, okay, let's maybe just use two. Uh, uh, two bits, which would be um, four possible quantization levels. So that's, oh, I've overwritten OP1, that doesn't matter. I'll just replay OP1. Just make a note that OP1 now is my um, quantized to four levels. So two bits means four levels. So let's just hear what that sounds like. You can hear there's lots of error in that. We can't. It's it, the the speech signal is almost unintelligible at this stage. Okay. Well, we could plot the data. Let's just plot that OP1 in green, and we should actually see the four different levels very very clearly. So we can see there's one level, two. Well, I don't see the four. Uh, Okay, I've made a mistake. Have I? Let's see, one, two. Oh no, we do see the four levels. There we go. One, two, three, four. I thought I'd, my my quantization function wasn't written brilliantly. I'd, I'd put it together earlier on. But yeah, I can see the one, two, three, four different levels for the signal. Okay, um, so that was just a, an example of how quantization will actually affect a signal. It basically introduces an error. When we use an audio signal, we actually can hear that error. Uh, uh, so I think it's a nice way to actually think about how quantization will affect a signal. Okay, so thank you for your attention, and I'll see you in the next presentation.